Hello, I'm Brian Tracy. And I'm Michael Tracy. And today we want to talk to you about public speaking in a digital age. This is a subject that we both love. We have spoken all over the world together and individually, and we just love this subject because you can't get too good at public speaking. Now, both Michael and I have seen firsthand how digital platforms have reshaped the art of speaking to an audience. Mastering public speaking today means you have to navigate both traditional stages and digital platforms, which can be difficult without the right knowledge and guidance. Thanks, Dad. It's pretty fascinating how much has changed, right? Digital platforms have expanded the opportunities for public speakers, and yet the base tactics have remained the same. The skills of public speaking, overcoming your physiology, overcoming fear, and delivering your message successfully while keeping the audience engaged is just as important on a stage as it is in front of a camera. Today, you're not only limited to in-person events and speaking in front of a crowd. Now we have webinars, podcasts, and social media that have opened new avenues to reach and engage with audiences globally. Even AI allows you to translate everything you say into 35 different languages almost instantaneously. Desafío de inicio de trabajo. So let's start with the fundamentals. As public speakers, we've experienced the amazing benefits firsthand. It's not just about sharing your message, it's about influence and inspiring and connecting with your audience and people all over the world. As Michael said earlier, the wonderful thing that I hear all the time now is, you changed my life, you made me rich. You changed my life, you made me rich. I get letters and emails and communications and people come up to me on the street all over the world and say, you're Brian Tracy, you changed my life, you made me rich. And it was an online video or Zoom seminar that they watched uh, a week, a month, a year ago. And today, they're totally different. That's a wonderful, wonderful feeling. One of the things we find is that it's not the money that we make, although we don't uh, dislike it, but it's the Im impact that we make on people that gives us the greatest feeling of satisfaction. So whether you're addressing an audience in a packed auditorium or through a smartphone, the ability to communicate effectively can open doors to countless opportunities. That's right. And in the digital age, the skills of public speaking are more relevant than ever. Platforms like Zoom, YouTube, and even Instagram or TikTok offer unique ways to present your ideas. The key difference? Engagement. Digital platforms provide interactive features like live chats, Q&As, and instant feedback, which can improve your connection with an audience in ways traditional platforms might not. Well, that's a tremendous way of putting it. What I do in my uh, Zoom seminars all over the world is I always build in a question and answer period so that at the end or halfway through, what we'll do is we'll take questions and we'll answer questions that people have that would be in their mind and causing them to uh, not pay attention and then go on, answer questions and then go on. As Michael says, engagement is really important. And the way that you get people engaged is you tell them stories, sometimes humor, maybe a quotation, but something that locks into or links into well, what you're saying. So this is an interesting point, and mastering these platforms requires understanding uh, their specific dynamics. For example, maintaining eye contact with a camera can be as crucial as with a live audience, or learning to modulate your voice and pace for a microphone can make your message more impactful, even if you're not physically present with your audience. Now here's a key point that Michael and I talk about all the time, is our favorite word in public speaking, which is preparation, preparation, preparation. Many people try to wing it, but what we found is that the better you prepare, and I prepare three hours for every one hour of delivery, three hours, and sometimes I've done years of research and study and writing and recording on the same subject, but then I'll do two to three hours of preparation, reviewing the material, so you can actually look at the camera and you can remember the material. You don't have to be looking down and reading it all the time. The audience knows 
if you are prepared. Now, prior pre-preparation prevents poor performance, something that I've heard many times growing up. Uh, but on, on that note, uh, leveraging social first public speaking can't be overstated. Various platforms allow speakers to share their expertise, build a following, and engage with their audience for a long time before and after any single event. Uh, also, it's recorded, so it's something that could be evergreen, and evergreen content can exist forever, casting a wide net across a lot of different business opportunities, industries, and topics that allow you to engage that audience for months, maybe even years to come. Uh, this continuous engagement is invaluable for building your personal brand and establishing yourself as an authority in your field. Well, and let's not forget about the uh, content itself. The digital age demands authenticity and value. Your uh, speeches or presentations need to uh, resonate with your audience's needs and interests. Utilizing storytelling, sharing personal experiences, and providing actionable insights can make your content more relatable and memorable. Absolutely. And with so many digital tools available, customizing your presentations for different platforms is critical. For instance, a webinar might allow for a more in-depth exploration of a topic, while a short video on Instagram might require you to get your message across quickly and engagingly. Well said. Uh, to sum up, the essence of public speaking hasn't changed, but the stages uh, certainly have. It's an exciting time to share your voice, your stories, and your uh, insights with the world. One of the things that Michael and I do it was what we call uh, the windshield wiper method. And that means left brain, right brain, left brain, right brain. Left brain means fact, uh, information, and data. And right brain means story, humor, examples. And the way that people fully engage in your speaking is you give them a fact and then you tell a story. Fact, story, fact, humor, fact, quote. And it totally engages people's minds and they will say to us, I could spend eight hours with you and never be bored because of this wonderful technique. The third way that you become an excellent speaker is continuous learning. Is your audience always knows if you've done your homework. Your audience always knows if you're well prepared. And the audience wants to know that you know vastly more than you're actually sharing with them. That you could know 10 or 20 or 50 words, let's say, for every word that you share. And that's really important. I've worked with people who started off with a great future possibilities, but then they became lazy and they just coasted. And the great tragedy is that there's only one way or direction in which you can coast, and it's downhill. So as long as you focus on being authentic, engaging, and adaptable, you can almost always guarantee that your message not only reaches, but also resonates with your audience. No matter where they are, it makes them happy and involved. And as we navigate this digital landscape, remember the goal of public speaking, whether online or offline, remains the same. To inform, persuade, inspire, and sell your products and services. The digital age simply provides more stages on which to stand and more tools with which to speak. And before we wrap up, don't miss out on an exclusive gift in the description. It's Brian Tracy's secret formula to turn almost any idea into a compelling speech in just five minutes. Now, I'd love to hear from you. So my question today is, What's one speaking challenge you hope to overcome in the digital age? Leave a comment below and I'll be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching and remember, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in teaching you about public speaking in a digital age, subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.